Are you looking for ideas on how to engage your employees at a higher level? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and how to do it fast. My name is Phil Ciccio and I'm with SuccessLink and I help organizations just like yours develop their leaders and the type of leaders that actually create higher engagement with their teams. If you're new here, click on the subscribe button so you can get more information just like the information I'm going to share with you right now. Look, when it comes to leadership, there's a few things that you need to know to engage your employees. One thing that's really critical to understand is that what you're trying to accomplish, your goals, your strategy, your mission, isn't exactly what they're trying to accomplish. And so this is the key to understanding engagement. While you're trying to accomplish your goals and your mission and your strategy, you're trying to get the most out of your people. You're trying to get maximum contribution from them. You want them to do all that they can do so that they can help you achieve your goals. But you know what, your team, they're not actually there for maximum contribution. That doesn't mean that they're not gonna contribute, but that's not why they're there. They have goals too, right? Their goals are different than your goals. They could have income goals, they could have career goals, they could have goals just for their family that require them to go to work. Their goals are different than your goals. And what they're trying to accomplish by coming to work every day is they're trying to come to work and get a sense of significance and satisfaction in the work that they're doing. So they're looking for maximum significance and value and satisfaction while you're looking for maximum contribution and you can see that these are two different ideas so how do we get people to actually contribute all that they can okay while still being satisfied and also feeling significant and, and feeling like they're valued well that's your role as a leader you have to identify what is it that makes them feel satisfied significant right what gives them that satisfaction all employees come to work for a particular reason beyond their goals some come for the reason that they just love the relationships that they have there they come to work for the social aspect of it now that doesn't mean that they don't work okay but they come there because they love building relationships they love to to collaborate they love to be on teams and they just love the people that they work with and they're motivated by that and as a leader if you understand that that's the reason why that particular employee comes to work then you can find ways to connect them to those ideas so that they feel like they're getting maximum satisfaction and significance in their work now some people they come to work for another idea they might come to work because they love the complexity of the work that they do they love the coolness of the work that they do they love to dig into it and they love to get into the stuff and they love to create and innovate they love to do things that are difficult and and dissect things and if that's the, the the person that's on your team and you want them to provide maximum contribution to your team then you have to make sure that they're doing complex work things that are challenging them things that create thinking and innovation that's the type of work that they're they, they love to do so they come to work for that and you need to make sure that that's what they get so that they're satisfied and they're fulfilled and they feel significant in the work that they do that will create more contribution then there's the other employee that comes to work because they just love the, the culture, right? Or the environment of where they're working. They love the beliefs that the organization has, right? The culture, because culture is just really group belief, and they believe in those beliefs that the organization has. Or they like the environment. They either like to work outdoors, they like to work into, in an environment that's very scientific or sterile, or they like to work in an environment that's kind of relaxed, where people walk around in basically shorts and a t-shirt, right? And they hang out on bean bags. They're there for that reason. They might even like the fact that you have a cafeteria with chefs and they cook food for them at lunchtime. And so those are some of the things that people come to work for and if they're trying to achieve that level of, um, of employment then you have to find ways to connect them to that to the culture to the environment so that they feel more satisfied at work which then correlates to more contribution then there's a person who comes to work because they're inspired they come to work for meaning for purpose right they want to go home at night and say we're making a difference so what is your organization doing that's making a difference what is the contribution that your organization is making beyond the daily stuff the tasks and the goals how how can you connect this particular employee to the greater good so they go home feeling like they've contributed to something greater than themselves so there are essentially four things that people come to work for right there's the people, right, the social aspect. There is the coolness of the work or the complexity of the work that they do. There is the environmental or cultural aspect of their work. And there's the inspirational idea as to why they come to work. 
how can you as a leader connect your people, find out what they're, why they come to work, and you're probably thinking to yourself right now, oh yeah, John's here because he's inspired, and Susan's here because she likes the complexity of the work, and, and Jane, she actually loves the people, and you can see this already going in your mind, it's kind of spinning around. Identify your people, identify why they're there, connect them to those reasons, they'll feel more significant, they'll feel more satisfied, and guess what? The byproduct of satisfaction and significance is maximum contribution. Look, if you like this video, click on the like button. If you know somebody who could benefit from this video, share this video, and look, remember, subscribe below, and I will send you more videos just like this to help you in your quest for employee engagement. Thanks for watching.